One of the big things in art that we've done this year is the Memory Project, where we make portraits for these like orphans in other countries, like around the world. And this year we did Myanmar, the Philippines, and Haiti. It's really important because it helps connect us with people around the world and different cultures. Like I know for for a fact that I have never met or I've never been connected with someone that was in Haiti or someone who was Haitian. And now I have my little portrait of my perfect little girl and she's received it and it's really rewarding to see someone on the other side of the world able to connect with you through art. I'm Filipino so like like I can relate not relate but like I have like a connection with these guys and like it's like a great feeling to know that you're doing something good for your country and that you're helping people there. Yeah it's like connecting with home in a way. I think most of us here are immigrants, come from immigrant families, yeah. so it's very important to learn about heritages and it's a part of the curriculum to connect with different cultures and that's very important to me because personally culture is very, very, it's, it's my motivation in a way, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah shout out to the yeah. Philippines! Um, for me, I really, um, like growing <coughs> up, I look towards my grandmother as the source of inspiration because she grew up in India and in India, like women and girls, they weren't really uh, encouraged to go to school and especially like they weren't really like encouraged to like pursue sciences or maths but she like really defied the standards there because like she uh, she went to university and she studied um, science and medicine and she became a nurse and so like I feel like um, her experiences really just encouraged me to like she just like, her um, strength and determination to pursue the sciences just like inspired me to also pursue my own interests like even though society like thinks that oh I can't do it because I'm a girl like she, she's just really inspirational. In the math department at Mary Ward we've been looking into how to engage students from a perspective of mathematics um, from students from different cultures and stuff and from the academic research that we did uh, Mr. Bullock and I especially, we, uh, the, an article let us know that uh, certain things that might interest, uh, certain math problems that might seem uh, culturally neutral might not end up being so, especially if the, uh, the question is asking like, is it better to buy a bus pass or to buy tickets given these uh, scenarios. But apparently some students were confused because the bus pass can be shared and in, um, in low income families especially that be the way, that would be the way that they would save money is by sharing a bus pass. Um, so uh, we were tasked with coming up with math problems that uh, can engage different the cultural background of students. And so one of the ones that uh, we came up with, uh, that I came up with was this uh, activity that my grade 10s just did. Uh, and this is a map of the world. And I used Desmos to uh, overlay the image of the map. Using this and understanding a grid system, the students create a triangle and they calculate the exact distance between their hometown and Toronto. It's about trigonometry, but it also relates to like where we're from. Was, like most of my classmates, we chose Philippines because that's where we're from. But then the assignment also says pick a place that we'd like to go to, and that makes the assignment more interesting. So it's not just math. At Mary Ward, there's a lot of diversity, whether it's like cultural or like even with like their gender and all that stuff. And we notice that a lot in like our art classes and the courses themselves. We have a lot of ability to explore our own cultures, so like we can take a dive into learning and creating art about um, Filipino culture per se, like my background and like getting to explore the background of like the textures of Filipino art and like what it means to be ethnic in that culture. And then as well as um, getting to speak about what it is like being a female in my artwork too. So. There's no boundaries to what we want to do. And like that's like the most interesting part because we get to show who we are. And like we get to like show like what we are really passionate about like through our art. And that's like what's, what makes art special at work. Being a part of the gifted program at our school has allowed me to do a lot more research into the science program. So in grade 9 and 10, we do specialized projects which take up some of our unit work. And we get to do a very fun science project. So in grade 9 specifically, we do something on space. And we get to look deeper into space and Mars and all of the units surrounding that. But we get to look specifically more into some parts, which I think is really amazing. And having 
more female gifted teachers allows us to also see how females in science can be such a big part of people's lives and actually encourage them to look more into it. As a student, I believe that the MBE course is a great way for students to, to get the education they need to facilitate the lack of indigenous culture, which was left behind. I've been on trips such as the Manitoulin Island, which we went on for three for three consecutive days. And I learned a lot of stuff which made an impact on me. I, I saw how um, I learned more about the history, about the culture, and the dances, as well as the foods which were served. We should all advocate the indigenous culture and let their voices be heard. What flag is this? Oh. Philippines. Philippines. That's right. So, what colors Chase. do you need for this flag? Blue, red, and yellow. Yeah. Should we get some? Yeah. Okay. Let's go get some. In the HFC course, students select one cultural cuisine. We will be doing a 10 to 15 minute presentation about the region and prepare and teach the class to make a dish from the area. We all sit down to eat the meal together. Uh, tech is usually a male dominated work field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So having this chance, a woman teaching us really helps us to feel more confident in choosing this field. Mm -hmm. And it's really just empowering to see her just teach, um, knowing that, yeah, as Hazel said, um, it's male dominated. So it's really good, like just relating to her um, as well as her teaching us new things too. One thing I always um, remember about one of applying to Mary Ward is when I first applied and I gave my application to my grade eight teacher, she actually um, gave back my, my, my application because uh, she didn't think I was like, like, she didn't think I was smart enough for a school like Mary Ward, oh. and she, um, like, she just took like the social standard of a, a female black student, and she kind of took that into consideration, and she didn't think I was smart enough to go to like a school like Mary Ward. And ever since then, like, my mom has always told me, like, whenever you like walk into like a classroom or you walk into anywhere, like, you always have two disadvantages, like one being like an African American and then one being a woman. And then I like replay it back in my head, and I think about it, and I'm just like, you know, um, a female, you know black like chemist or like a female like black astronaut or a female black physical therapist you know those titles never get a lot of attention in the world because like they, they're never really the main center of focus but when I sit down with my grade 11 teacher or my grade 12 bio teacher and I tell her like that I want to study kinesiology and I want to become a physical therapist and I want to do you know I want to succeed in the class she never like second guess makes me second guess myself and she never makes me feel like like I can't do it she makes me feel like it's like um, like I can't like I can accomplish a lot of things even when social standards say that I can't or you know but there's not a lot of people who can believe that I can I can always like let's like especially the women in the science department who always make, feel, make me feel like empowered and make me feel like um, like I can do anything. Like when I think about women in the science department, Mary Ward Science Department, and how many women female teachers there are, and how supportive they are. You know, girls. I, I think in our grade always feel like they can, they can succeed and always feel empowered. I feel uh, as a teacher, I feel welcoming. As a student, I feel I would feel welcomed, connected, inclusive, valued, influential. Insightful, international, open-minded, perspective, and inclusive. <laughs>